it is time once again to refresh the secret shop because I don't have enough covenant bookmarks. So let's begin. 28,307,000 gold. I need to uh, get over 50 covenant bookmarks. Will I do it? I have 127 covenant bookmarks right now. I have 6,052 sky stones. So I'm going to refresh 317 times. And uh, which is basically, yeah, 951 sky stones. I'm gonna go through this quickly. And if I find a solid item, I'm gonna buy it. But if I just buy Covenant bookmarks, it will cost 1.84 million uh, gold, which is uh, for 50 Covenant bookmarks. This is uh, what you buy in the shop for, uh, yeah, 950. Sky stones, you get some penguins with that, but it's better to do it here because you can uh, get things like this. Uh, it is on an attack set, it's not good enough. You have to skip on that. It depends on how far you are in terms of progression in the game. I am more picky uh, with the items that I decide to buy. Uh, there's always the uh, randomization afterward, you need to uh, roll your stats. It might roll into the wrong one. The values might be uh, low. I mean, they might be high too, but it's all gambling, guys. This is small gambling right there. It comes out to, I mean, as a free-to-play player, uh, this is especially, it is worth your time. If you're struggling with gold, check my gold guide. There's one. It will be in the comment section, like, so my uh, latest guides will be in the comment section and my playlists as well for guide tips, how to's. Uh, if you want to check some gameplay of Arena PvP, another list is Guild War PvP and Abyss Floor 62 plus. If you're struggling in there, check those out. A lot of good information. So I just scroll down and just hit the refresh right away and it gives me enough time to check the list. Now I'm gonna stop after 951 sky stones, so that means I'm stopping at 5,101 uh, sky stones. I, uh, on average, you should be getting more than 50 covenant bookmarks. You could be unlucky. You could be very lucky. I mean, you could double. You could double that amount. You could get 100 covenant bookmarks. You could get even more than that. It really depends on your luck. But if you try it once and you get unlucky, right? You use 951 sky stones. I mean, on average, you're gaining. You're gaining. You just have to be willing to spend the gold for them. And to me, it's totally worth it because I can easily get gold back. I, I saved, I had over 40 million gold before I started to do these secret, ref uh, secret shop refresh videos so I still have a lot left I built my gold while also saving sky stone so I mean just check my gold guys gonna definitely help you out with uh, managing your gold it's not about like farming it is easy using it properly efficiently is the harder part uh, if you are in the early game in terms of progression, you want to check boots, item level 85, a uh, pair of speed boots on a speed set especially is very, very good. I even buy those uh, still, like, no matter the rarity, I would just buy them because I, I can always use a pair of uh, 8 speed, uh, item level 85 speed main stat with on a speed set always good and yeah the er earlier you are in terms of progression the more likely you are to buy items in here but you have to sometimes restrain yourself because you will go through your gold very quickly I did manage to get some uh, solid epic pieces by doing this some stuff that is actually very hard to obtain even uh, by farming the hunts I'm talking about see, like this could have been really good but it's not two flat stats 
if you are in the early game in terms of progression you would buy that because you would buy it because though that main stat when it's maxed out you take the main stat value you multiply by eight uh, sorry by five you know that's that's unfortunate and it gives you the final uh, stat at plus 15 enhancement so basically uh, eight speed boots becomes 40 because you multiply by five so any initial value multiplied by five is it's gonna be your uh, your plus 15 enhancement stat of course in the early game you should not enhance your items to plus 15 unless they are quite good high item level they rolled properly like those are all tricks to like to get really start uh, saving your gold for uh, when you start getting item level 85 they don't have to be all perfect like you have to start rolling them bring it to plus three bring it to plus six like if it keeps on rolling where you want it if it's not rolling that flat stat but uh, besides speed of course you just you just keep on enhancing it early game the abyss set is like it's it's worth giving uh, that a go to plus 15 unless it's really rolling it's rolling very poorly but it will help you for your farmer anyways uh most players that are watching are probably not very early game players might be a minority yeah gold is uh i mean you can do totally fine early game with like, without enhancing your items like at all or just bringing them to like plus three plus six then when you start getting higher item levels you're farming higher hunts you can start leveling them uh, I mean not those but better items to like plus plus nine plus twelve the rates are not that great on that one you see that's that's right there that's 40 speed when it's at plus 15 but a pair of item level 85 uh, boots with uh, let me just check it so you guys see it it's all random though you can definitely get some of the some of the most amazing items in here if you are lucky enough it's just there is quite a bit of junk as well see like a lot of players might buy that but effectiveness in PV uh, you only really need 55% guys because if you want to counter 70% effect resistance on the target you need to uh, you, there's 15% that you, you cannot counter so that hence why you need 55 percent effectiveness over that it's not gonna do anything but in PvP if you are fighting targets with high effect resistance you can counter that with uh, eff effectiveness but I'm talking like higher level PvP like high challenger at least like champion legend that's where like they really stack effect resistance so don't you don't even have to worry most players won't, don't have to worry about this you can still roll with your 55 percent effectiveness heroes You'll do probably just fine. Here we go. So I'm I'm trying to get uh, 200 Kevin and bookmarks because I'm going for another summon video. Why? Why am I going for Dizzy? It's not I'm going for Dizzy. I'm going for the artifact, guys. I'm going for Necro and Undyne. I got Dizzy already. Uh, you might have noticed uh, she was part of the team in the lobby. To show you I farm this all the time like it, like those I would need those rare pieces of item I get a lot with like four speed uh, with like like health percentage defense percentage effectiveness like things that could go very well on a support and I enhance them I bring them to plus three I bring them to plus uh, six I six I try to see you see this is uh speed to attack four speed i'm buying that i'm buying that because this can potentially be 12 speed nice that's a very good pick there could be 12 speed at plus six and this could even be 16 speed at uh, plus 15. the odds of that happening are not high unfortunately the uh the other substat was it defense Health. Okay, health is good. Still, doesn't matter. It's two usable substats. Of course, if it would have been crit chance, 
uh, or crit damage. Now, now that'd be even <laughs> that'd be better. Okay, we got a patch implemented, but it's still not like a flat stat of attack defense. Effect uh, resistance, like it's it was definitely worth grabbing because speed roll maximum of four. Very cool, and you know very early on if you're you see another pair of boots, eight speed baby. I don't buy those. I don't buy those. I have. I have those. I don't have to worry for where I'm at in terms of progression. Like I said, I need for me for my particular case. I need uh, a speed boots with. Uh, on a speed set. That that's what I buy. There we go. There we go now. Still quite a few refreshes left. Bit over Yeah, over 300 gold, uh, 300 sky stones left to uh, to refresh. So like over 100 refreshes left. Let me see, I'm just checking this out. I actually got something very good. I got a, a solid counter ring, heroic, so far. I'm even thinking of uh, buying 8 speed resist set, but it would need to be of uh, like blue, it would need to be rare at least. These I, I get all the time on my second account even. Let me actually, my second account, the phone like, the screen closed, sorry guys. I need to get those Golem 11 runs running. Let's just check this. Yeah, I, like early game, if this was like a uh, crit percentage, crit damage percentage, uh, it's definitely worth getting no matter the quality because that main stat is a huge deal for you in the early game. If, even if it's like, uh, especially if it's a speed set, if it's health percentage, you can use that. You can definitely use that. Uh, speed set, defense percentage, very useful. Necklace, ring, it's gonna make your heroes much more uh, tanky. It, it's usually, you usually go more with the health percentage because I, I farm this all the time, it's nothing special. Even if it was 4 speed and 5 crit chance. Like even if it was perfect on, on a chest. I have many chests at 12 speed or more already. I don't have to worry about that. I got some comments like, dude, just buy the items. They like they're good. But I, like you have to realize I can farm these. I farmed this already. I have them. Yes, let's see. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, like this this I I have a bunch of those guys. It's I don't need to go for that. It needs to have a substat. Like to match this, I need speed. I, I need speed. I, I absolutely speed to be there already. It's a speed set, especially with a speed that's perfect combination. Ras, baby, Ras is back. Nah, they did good with the servers since the. Yeah, when Gu Guilty Gear collaboration dropped, that was that was some crazy server lag, but uh, they got their stuff together, and for Dizzy, uh, it was very good. Dizzy is so strong. I can't wait to really like do some videos for her. She's still a five star, guys. I have to do these refreshes. I have to do them. I have to do the summoning now because what if I get more copies of her? Like. These are like five star fathers that like, let's say I make her a six star now, and then I get more copies of her, let's say, you know? These are five star fathers that I'm, uh, anyway, I don't even have time to like play her because I have to do this. I don't want to delay this stuff. I want to get this artifact for Celestial Mercedes. I, that's the thing, I've gotten comment like, this all artifact's not even good. Well, on Celestial Mercedes, it's amazing because her skill three gives you 20% combat readiness for every critical hit in arena, you hit four targets. That's 80% combat readiness. This artifact at plus 15 gives me 15% combat readiness. That's 95% combat readiness. And I could just go right away with that with skill two, use double cleave, or because I'm using Sash Itanes with my uh, 
my Shuri, my Speed Shuri, I, as long as I kill one target, I'm getting 12% combat trueness from Sash Itanes. Plus this artifact, I have over 100% combat trueness. I go again with that skill too, that's double cleave with one hero. That's so much damage. My skill uh, 3 on Cells from Mercedes is maxed. Uh, I don't have skill ups into skill 2 yet, but I definitely will. Maybe not just yet, I need to work on Dizzy. But the combination of both skills together is insane damage. And, you know what? The best part is that her skill 3 actually gives her attack buff. So, I don't even need to have an attack buffer. And then when her skill 2 drops, I have attack buff, self buff from herself. That is crazy damage. Crazy damage. Don't even need an attack buffer. I mean, I can potentially just... That's the thing. If I just run her Shuri and her, let's say... Uh, it's not gonna be enough damage to like kill, but let's say I had I mean, I, I can't do it. I can't get multiple copies of the artifact. I'm not lucky like that There's players that have gotten like like five six artifacts and uh, Before they hit the 121 summon guarantee for dizzy or even like they got dizzy before that like There's some really lucky players out there doesn't work doesn't work with the set. The rarity is too low for me. I can farm this easily. But yeah, guys, uh, that artifact, man. If you have cells from Mercedes, this artifact is max. Oh baby, like you can use her. She she can take out a team. Like she can take out the biggest stress by herself. Full skill ups, high attack. Like she does skill three, skill uh, skill two. Just better make sure there's no misses because you need to crit. So if you're facing Assassin Cartuja, oh my god, that was a dry streak, guys. That, that was, like, I didn't see Covenant bookmarks for a while. Let's see this. I get a bunch of those, guys. Those subsets don't match. You might be buying this, but I, I, I so many of those, like, so many that I sold or, like, I started enhancing even if the values were high, if the rolls were high, and... Yeah, it didn't go so well. Some might roll very high, but the substats don't work together. Uh, about to stop here. Three refresh. And let's see how many I got. And last one. Nope. Okay. So... I bought an item, I bought this, right, it was like, what is it, like, it's a rare quality, so it's not that that expensive, so, yeah. Hmm, let's do it, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, one more roll, can I sacrifice? Yeah, this I can sacrifice. Let's go. Let's go. Hit that speed, baby. Oh, two speed. I mean, it's not terrible. I have better than this. But it's a gamble, guys. It's a gamble. It depends. You can definitely use this in the early to early mid game. I can still use it. It's not over. It depends what subsets is going to roll. It's Anyways, it's going to be 60% uh, attack. So, uh, yeah. That was uh, 317 refreshes. Let's see. 182 so yeah 282 so basically that was uh, 55 my god that was not a good one plus 55 that was definitely not good but I mean it costed me gold that was 1.84 million gold down the drain for for well no for one set of covenant bookmarks is gambling remember that dry streak i hit you could set you set yourself a limit when you hit a bad streak just take a break or something you know uh it's just because i have to set my goals of i set i have to set myself a goal of 200 covenant bookmarks so i can make the next video so if i hit the dry streak that's just the way it goes but you know i could have gotten some crazy item to show up during the this like that's the thing though it's a gamble but still on average, it's gonna be better because, like I said, gold is not that big of a deal. Just take, check my gold guide, guys, and uh, you'll uh, you'll really like start having more gold. Your gold's gonna go up if you apply uh, these things that I show you in the video. 
So uh, quickly, I mean, do I even even need to calculate the gold though? Do I even need to do that? So I was at twenty eight million three hundred and seven and twenty minus twenty five four. That's the thing. It confuses players. It confuses uh, people. That's uh, just over uh, three million, two million eight hundred ninety six. But it was fifty five covenant bookmarks, right? So that's eleven sets times hundred eighty four thousand. So that's two million twenty four thousand gold. You're paying only for the covenant bookmarks. The, the items, I can't tell you. Like, look, those items you didn't have to buy them. You would might have bought more items and that's good for you like these are upgrades for your team on top of getting more covenant bookmarks on average this was uh yeah that was not uh, amazing definitely 100 from uh 127 to 182 uh 182 so that's yeah 11 sets guys and uh you would have gotten 10 sets from buying them from the shop here You see but I mean one star penguins this is nothing this is nothing it's just the gold and like I said it's not a big deal getting gold you just have to well check the gold guide if you're struggling there uh, it's gonna be a series guys for the gold uh, gold guides uh, only one is out for now uh, just apply these things and your gold's gonna go up it's just the way it is uh, but you have to change the way you uh, you deal with items uh, and all that so, yeah check it out and uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlist for guide tips and how to's. Another one for Arena P uh, PvP. Another one for Guild War PvP. And another one for Abyss Floor 62 Plus. Check those out if you're struggling in there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do the summon video for Dizzy. I'm going to start it off with just trying to get those last uh, 20. Covenant bookmarks at the start of the video and then I'm gonna proceed with summoning some more and uh, Yeah, we'll see if I finally end up with getting Necro and Undyne uh, Or just more copies of Dizzy maybe some 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 strong artifacts. I don't have or maybe I can limit break some other things or I might get uh, Some four-star heroes uh, some memory imprints like there's a lot of good stuff I can obtain and I did get a lot so far I spent a thousand and five bookmarks guys so far to get that Necro and Undyne. Just one copy. I still it didn't show yet. But uh, yeah, if you want to see all the, the, the good stuff I got, uh, just check out uh, those videos. Uh, so yeah, good luck with your summoning guys. Good luck with the secret shop refresh. But like you should not give up. You should not give up with the secret shop refresh if you just try it like uh, for like one time 951 sky songs, let's say. You need, like, that's just a very small sample size, guys. This is a very small sample size. So, all right. Good luck. Peace out.